as they make the run out towards the far side of the course for the first time. Charlie D looking for a, a third Wolverhampton success makes the running at a steady pace under Jane Elliott as they take their first turn from Rochester House in second with a length back in third on the inside. The best turned out winner, Nate the Great, market leader, the well back favourite, Australis, a close fourth, trapped by the purple and green silks of To Be Wild. And Chipiron is the back marker. Chipiron, ex-French performer, having a first start for Ivan Furtado and Ellie May Crude having a first ride today. Just a sharing last place at this early stage in the pink and green. Chipiron sharing that uh, position with To Be Wild. But uh, still at a steady pace, they head down the far side of the course with the pace being set by Charlie D, but only by half a length. Just the house, looking to give Mark Johnston an across the card uh, four timer. He's in second place with a length back to the third. Nate the Great so tracking them closely against that inside rail. Only a length away in fourth is Australis and sharing last place, Chipiron on the inside of the To Be Wild. So they take their left hand turn that'll bring them back towards the church on this first circuit and now they're almost three in line and Australis makes a forward move. Australis now sent uh, through by Jack Mitchell to dispute it with Charlie D and already there's a slight increase in the tempo. Rogers the house just reined back into third place on the outside. Nate the Great covered up on the inner and still held up at the back of the field to be wild who's been pretty keen but uh, under tight restraints if you run against the fence. And Australis now at the quarters of the front running Charlie D as they pass halfway in the afternoon's feature, the Betway handicap. They swing out towards the far side, six and a half furlongs to travel as they take the turn. Charlie D, Australis, Nate the Great, Rochester House, and then close up. But on the inside, Chipiron with To Be Wild, just relegated to be last. But within four lengths of the leader, Charlie D, who under Jane Elliott, heads out towards the far side of the course. But uh, breathing down the leader's neck is Australis, the top weight, as they make this left-hander and head down the far side for the final time. Charlie D, Australis, just three quarters of a length between them. Nate the Great's never been far away, tucked in against the fence. Three parts of a length then to uh, Rochester House and Andrew Breslin, a further length to Chipiron and To Be Wild. It's just the back marker under Adam Kirby as they head well down the far side of the course and now race towards the last half mile. Charlie D with the advantage. He's made every yard so far, but being tracked throughout by Australis, Nate the Great, and Rochester. I'm out of here, man. And a half to two be wild and ship run as they now leave the back straight behind them and they make their way towards the final three furlongs. Still to face a serious challenge for the lead. Charlie D just bustle along in front to try and maintain the advantage, but Australis is coming there pretty strongly to dispute it off the final turn and ra going rather better than Charlie D, who's made much of the running. Rochester House makes a move on the outside. Nate the Great looking to pick up against the rail as they swing for home, and Australis is now sent on. Australis goes on from the white face to Rochester House, the near side. Charlie D battling on the far side, and then in behind them in fourth is Nate the Great. It's Australis with a challenge from Rochester House, the near side, as they come well inside the last. Australis kept up to his work to try and maintain the lead from Rochester House, with also closing in on the far side. Nate the Great, but Australis is too good, and Australis wins from Nate the Great. Market suspended. Well to dispute third place with Rochester House and uh, back in fourth, Charlie D against the inside rail. Michelle struggling off.